Okay, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm hoping that this will connect together. If not, you're going to have one short video and one, one long video, one short video. Uh, <clears throat> I needed to take care of something real quick. So let's go ahead and we're going to work number... We're going to work number nine. And I have number nine circled because I, it's kind of a sketchy problem. So I'm going to apologize in advance. Okay, so we're going to start off with our, our, um, our order at 7.5 milligrams per kilogram. So it's 7.5 milligrams per kilogram. And we know we're going to have a weight, so I'm going to write weight down here. And I am every 12 hours. Available on hand is 0 0.35 grams, so 0 0.35 grams per milliliter, right? 0 0.35 grams per milliliter, mm -hmm. and our patient weighs 157 pounds. Okay, so we're going to start off with our order, 7.5 milligrams over 1 kilogram, or per kilogram, 7.5 milligrams per kilogram. Now we have our milligrams here, so we have to have our grams on the bottom. So one milliliter of our supply is 0 0.35 grams. Now we need to go ahead and do our conversion for our milligrams and grams. So we have, we have grams on the bottom. I need grams on the top. One gram is 1,000 milligrams. And then I gotta get rid of my kilograms because it's asking how many milliliters I'm gonna administer, okay? So now I gotta rid of my kilogram, so I need to put my kilogram conversion in. One kilogram equals 2.2 .2 pounds. So now I can get rid of my kilograms, but I gotta get rid of my pounds. So now I'm gonna have 157 pounds for my one patient. So we're gonna get rid of our pounds. All right, all I have left is my milliliters. Okay, now I'm going to do the math. So I multiply all the way across the top, and I get 7.5 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 157 equals 11,000, or, or sorry, 1177.5, 1177.5. And then when we do our, when we multiply the bottom, we have 0 0.35 times 1,000 times 2.2 .2 times 1 equals 770. Okay, so now we're going to divide 1177.5 divided by 770 equals 1.5. 529 milliliters. 1.529 or 1.53. So we're going to say 1.5 milliliters. Okay, that was number nine. Now we're going to work number 10, and that's half of them. And then I want you guys to work through the second half and send me questions for any of them that you might have, okay? Give me specific questions for specific numbers after 10. So let's work number 10. Okay, number 10 says the doctor orders heparin 7,500 units. So 7,500 units. Two times a day, and what we have on hand is 10,000 units per milliliter. We have 10,000 units per milliliter. And it wants to know how many milliliters we will administer. Okay, so our order goes first. 7,500 units over one. And what we have on hand, units is here, so units has to be on the bottom. So we have one milliliter that equals 10,000 units. So we got rid of our units. 
Now we're going to multiply 7,500 divided by 10,000. Get rid of those two zeros. 75 divided by 100. Equals 0 0.75 milliliters. So 0 0.5 milliliters, or we can round it up to 0 0.8. Either one would work. 0 0.5 or 75 or 0 0.8 milliliters. Okay, guys, that is the first 10 problems. I want you to work through the second 10 problems, and I want you to tell me specific questions. Like on number, a question might be on number 12, I don't understand where to put the conversion. Or number 13, I don't understand why I don't need 0.5% dextrose in water. So that's what I want you guys to do. Work the next 10 and ask me specific questions. You can email me those specific questions. You can um, met, put them on the, the stream. You can private message me, whatever you want to do. But if you have questions, give me specific questions, okay, on, on specific problems. So you guys work through those, and we'll have your test next week. Thanks, everybody.